So what all I can see? Suppose this is a single implant case. So what I will do? Definitely you have to augment this. Because the available width is hardly 4.6 millimeter. At the crest it is more. Sometimes you will enter from here go and place your implant but si after simultaneous implant placement you can just augment this labial side. Let's check the left side of the same patient. So as I approach towards the center this is the nasopalatine canal region. This tooth is almost out of the socket almost there is no bone at all so you know this is easy to communicate with the patient they understand better now as we are going on the left side this is the lateral incisor coming in and you have a d3 type of bone here good cortex but inside it's hollow if you check it this is mixed minus plus minus plus so inside this white areas they are sufficient to anchor your implant and the osteotomy required will be under osteotomy for example suppose we plan to do osteoplasty till this level after removing of this tooth and suppose we do osteoplasty at this level and you have a 7.7 .7 millimeter width available and a length till the nasal floor is 16.8 millimeter. Now, if you, if you are planning an implant of diameter 4 millimeter, then you don't have to do osteotomy more than 2.5 or maximum up to 3 millimeter because then after 3 millimeter osteotomy, you can directly place an implant of diameter 4 millimeter and that implant will compress the bone all around and going to get anchor in this very good bone and you will get fantastic stability. All these things are possible if you have a longer implant available. Now we are 